Look at the seed times of these athletes. They're all very closely matched. That's what happens at the highest level of competition at the end of the season here at the New Balance National Indoor Championships. Section 5 on track. Nick Steinfeld, Richard Plank, Henry Dixon, Logan Mullen, right, Jonathan Hess, five, Arthur Langley, five, Aiden Neeland, Vincent Garasimo, Zachary Youngblood, Lucas Tam, Owen Morgan, Brian Burns, Jaden Merrick, and Ben Hyde. It looks as though Burns is a late scratch. So 13 athletes on track. Seed times here in the 417, 418 range. And you can see that these runners are all well ahead of the pace lights, which are just coming into your bottom of picture. This is Hess and Youngblood sharing the early lead here. I apologize, that looks as though it might be Morgan up at the lead. We'll get confirmation on that. Hip number nine is Zachary Youngblood in that bright green kit. And that is a 62-3 opening quarter mile. So that is cranking things down, getting close to that 4-10 tempo. And these guys would be thrilled with that. As you mentioned, you know, Dan, that the four-minute mile, the magical time of the four-minute mile that is eclipsed only a few times in a in a, season, a high school season. But there are all these barriers along the way that are, you know, the, the stepping stones to greater success. 420, 415, 410, these yep. nice round marks that these athletes want to get under so that they can feel that four-minute mark getting ever closer. Well, there's so much information from uh, from training to recovery out there in the world right now. These athletes can train like world class or you know world class or collegiate athletes just uh, from the things that they find online. And so much of that information shared, like you said, online, but also back and forth through these runners. I remember just forming really great friendships and relationships with my competitors. And on the day, I always wanted to beat them, but we weren't afraid to talk about what we were doing in training and recovery wise. And you know, that's that's the point of competition is it makes you bring out the best in yourself. So you want to beat the very best people around you. And the pace has slowed here as Youngblood continues to conduct this train, but now they're bunching up and that's because they Went from running 31 and 32 right, seconds to a 33 there. So a lead change as Nick Steinfeld of the Cougars takes charge of the tempo up front. 240 through 1,009 meters. Well, that's smart running by Nick Steinfeld there. He felt that the pace was getting a little bit slower, and he said, you know what? I got to speed this thing up. It's not that I'm going faster, but the but the pace is getting slower, and boom, then the lights come on, and we know exactly where he's at. And it's, I think it's a little surprising for some of these athletes as well to not see the lights for four or five laps, and then it pop up and go, oh, my gosh, it's way up there. I got to make a move. Absolutely, and well done by Richard Plank, who no matter the leader who the leader has been, has continued to sit in second. Take uh, note to the right of screen there as well. We've got picture-on-picture -picture action with our boys' weight throw and pole vault taking place throughout this beautiful facility here in Boston. And now again to the lead, that green kit of Youngblood, who just in the space of the last half lap threw in a huge surge, and now he is taking off like a rocket at the front, 31-6 on that last lap, and he has become a whole new runner. Youngblood waking up, his kit matching the color of the lights, and now he is striding towards and past them. Youngblood young blood comes in with a 418-47 best. The junior making his mark on this field, it's and what an impressive closing quarter Brown. mile. 415-19 for Zachary Youngblood. 